let's see what we have uh what we have going on here so Hagrafe is now in our command that's good we are in an interesting position Malekith beaten back I think the dark elves not doing too hot these places are still kind of ruined looks like Valkia is causing trouble for uh for Harganeth there and just raiding all these northern places we are gonna have to eventually fight Valkia and we're gonna have to march north and purge her from these lands which is gonna be actually pretty cool I'm excited to do that but um We'll definitely want to take over the Iron Foothold, the Iron Foothills. Sorry, my apologies. Uh, take over this province first, and then probably think about expanding north. Um, they are chaos wastes, so we're not going to try to take it, but we will. It will be very advantageous for us to burn them to the ground because, yeah, we don't want we don't want to we don't want one of the chaos lords just chilling about. Uh, I think we're going to go ahead and upgrade our uh, our barracks here. Get a mustering hall so we can start getting long beards. I think that'll be really good. Like, really upgrade our infantry. Might be time just to update our army just a little bit. Leave him here for a turn just to heal. We could wait until we can build walls here. That might be the that might be the plan. So at least it can try to hold a little bit, but that's, that will take uh, that will take a little while. Um, we can't assault Nagaron with our current army. Like the garrison in there is just too good. Like Hargadeth executioners, Blackguard, and Nagaron. Yeah, it ain't gonna happen, unfortunately. Uh, but and their other settlement is also really heavily defended. So we're gonna need some upgrades. We're gonna need to get the troops whipped up into shape. Uh, but then I think we'll be ready to move out. And hey, in the meantime, it means Nagaron's like pushed back to here, and hopefully he's not gonna be able to do too much. Nagarond is tier 4, though, at this point, I believe I saw. Uh, so, I mean, I guess we'll just kind of have to see how that goes. Yeah, it is tier 4. Does he have any recruitment? I, okay, so he has the tier 3 barracks, so he can get Black Art Corsairs. Uh, oh, he can get Black Guards since he has the palace, but we'll see if the AI actually does go for that. Yes, yeah, so he's going to take 4 turns. It's going to take a long-ass time. Don't know if I can afford to wait around that long. Um, let's see. Yeah, I think I think I think this is the way to go. So we can get a master engineer in our in our army, and that'll help us out a lot. Probably replace these guys with thunderers and cannons. I think I was kind of debating about it last episode, but I think I think now um, I think I'm, I've convinced myself to go for it until we can get bugsman's rangers, and then we'll switch them out again. But yeah, until then. So this will be fine. Might not be worth even building this place up. Probably reinvest that money elsewhere. The more that I think about it, because I just, I really don't think I'm going to be able to hold that. Alright, we'll go ahead and upgrade the mines instead. Upgrade our, or increase our economy a little bit. So we can, uh, you know, keep on funding the war machine. And yeah, so if they take Hagrave, that's okay. Alright, sweet. We'll, we'll try to build a Temple of Cain a little bit. Uh, you know, just to have... But I, I guess, you know, we'll just have to see. They are still scary. I, I will always fear shades. I once played a Chaos campaign back in Warhammer 2. Uh, back in the days. Oh my god, it's full of Blackguard. Okay, that's actually really scary. <laughs> Holy fuck. Um, uh, yeah, I played as, like, because in old SFO in Warhammer 2, as Archaeon, you could choose a place to teleport and once I tried to take on Nagarond and I was doing pretty well I like went through this whole section all the way up killed um killed the, the crone herself sorry get out of here cat um but then I came down onto Nagarond to Malekith's province and holy shit so a bunch of armies just had a shit ton of shades and they just tore my uh my chaos warriors apart that was pretty intense uh go for the growth that's pretty scary. So, like, from what I can see... Yeah, look at that. We got uh, Blackguard and Nagron. How many units is that? Three, seven units of Blackguard. That's pretty scary. They're no joke. Uh, a couple Blackguard Corsairs. Some Dewfire Warlocks. Alright, yeah. We're definitely going to have to fall back here. Maybe upgrade your defenses a little bit. Yeah, and we'll, we'll, probably, we'll probably hold up in Altar of Ultimate Darkness. It's probably going to take these lands back. But that's okay. 
because I, I already took them, so they're underdeveloped, so him taking them back won't really help him out all that much. But yeah, that's actually really scary. Oh boy, he went straight for the Temple of Cain, too. Yeah, there's nothing I can really do against that. Oh, dude, he's a Blood Rack Medusa. Oh, dude, he's a Harganath Executioner? Holy shit. Bro, what, where the fuck is he getting all these Elite's units from? Oh my god. Okay, that's scary. Okay, we definitely need to go up here ASAP and, and get our army kind of refitted. Dwarf Warriors are not going to stand up to that. Even Longbeards, they're going to struggle. I'm really surprised. But where can he get Hargadath Executioners from? Like, I'm trying to think. It doesn't seem like he has all that much other territory. There's no way... Because, yeah, Hargadath Executioners are Tier 4 units, so... I'll have to check. I'll have to check if it, to see if he has more provinces somewhere. Uh, let's see. Uh, how many provinces is it? You only have three settlements, so no, these are it. Unless I did Oh, he does. Oh, shit. Okay. He does have that building. And it is the sorcerer's building as well. Shit. Alright, Gromby. Alright, Gromby, that's not a fight you want to take. We're gonna have to, like, really hoof it. Hopefully, hopefully he doesn't go straight for Rakadu Gorge. So I can get my, my Master Engineer out. That would be sick. I would not like to lose that. Yeah, Hagrafe, I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't bothering with it. Hopefully he does go for Hagrafe. I actually hope that'll, that'll like tie him up for another like two turns. Two, three turns. Give us time to replenish here. And yeah, it looks like that will be done. Yeah, most important thing, place these guys with long beards. Dwarf Warriors ain't going to cut it. Quite literally, they're not going to be able to pierce that armor. Fuck. All right. Yo, you get. A, oh, he has a. He's a reinforcement army. Damn. Oh yeah, nothing we could really do about that. But he is stuck down there, so that means it's going to take him another two turns to get back up to, up to us. So. That's some small, comfort, I guess. Oh shit. Okay. Dude, the the Druchi fucking counter offensive. Damn. Thought we were doing good. But yeah, Nagrons, that's going to be a tough cookie to crack. Yeah, if only I had organ guns. Organ guns would tear them apart. Organ guns are one of my favorite artillery pieces in the game. So once we can get those going, that'll be pretty cool. But we're, we're a while away from that. This this will be fine. <laughs> but as I was saying, yeah, we'll just try to, like, just let the, let the garrison fight that if he does march on us. Just to let him... Uh, just to buy us more time, because, like, marching down without the, like, a fully revamped army might just cause us more casualties. I don't know. Uh, do we have any other, like, equipment I can throw onto him? Don't have any, any armor or, um... Any armor or talismans, that kind of sucks. Alright. Well... It just is how it is, I guess. Yeah, we got some more grudges. Our our um our overall authority or our grudge our book of grudges is pretty light uh, for us, thankfully. So we're not taking like too many penalties that wise. But then again, we also can't really get that many slayers. Though I don't know if I'd want really all that many slayers right now. They are really good, especially in SFO. Like they are murder machines. But I don't think they would really help us. They, they don't really have any large units right now. Since he went towards the Elite Corps with uh, Black Guard and Harganeth Executioners, Slayers would kind of just get their, their asses handed to him. Uh, no, we need as much money as we can get. I'll risk more Slib's Wrath as, as much as I can. All right, he's holding up. That's actually really good. Buys us time. And that's kind of the most important thing for us right now. All right, throw you into the army. I am the white dwarf. So that'll be four. Start disbanding quarrelers. And we'll have five with the Warriors of Dragon Fire Pass. So then we can start getting long beards with great weapons. Okay. Alright, good. Got that that done. Like marching songs might be pretty good. That as well. Extra melee attack, defense, and... and uh, oh, but the, the weapon strength as well. Uh, 
I don't know. Um, I think all of those are, are okay. Gromwell picks as well. Alright, we'll, we'll just go with this though. I really want to buff up these long beards. Let's try to make them as powerful as possible. And man, look at that. Those skills already come in, in, in handy. These guys are summoning at rank 3, which I think my dwarf warriors were at actually before. So, like, we don't even have to give up the experience, which is pretty good. Another turn, Rakadu Gorge will have its tier 2 garrison. Which will be pretty good. Man, it gives two gyrocopters. That's pretty good. So that means it'll be even harder for Malekith to try to push in. But yeah, now we just build up and uh, and wait. Alright. Okay, looks like Malekith is finally moving up. Raiding my territory like the douchebag that he is. But tier 2 settlement's up. And this ain't a bad garrison. I mean, a lot of long beards. Thing is, not a whole lot of, like, like armor-piercing power, you know? Like, not a whole lot of great weapons. Only quarrelers, no thunderers in the garrison. Like, a grudge thrower won't really be able to do much either. Uh, like, the gyrocopters are really nice, though. Like, four fucking gyrocopters. That's huge. Um, you know, when they get, like, blobbed up around the walls and shit, that'll, that'll really tear them apart. Just because most of them are steam guns. They don't have the highest, like, AP, but they'll just... Just being able to pour down that fire, it'll still, like, fuck them up. And they got the drop bombs. So that'll be a siege. Oh, it'll be tough, for sure. But, you know. <laughs> Everything about this situation is gonna be. Alright, another quarreler. Gonna replace. And there we go. That's the infantry handled. Uh, get rid of another quarreler. And I'll replace you with a thunderer. Alright, and slowly but surely, we're augmenting our army. I just hope it's enough. He's probably going to attack us next turn, start the siege. Don't know where his other army is. The air is thick with murder. Uh, they might come up. That will also be a bit of a problem. Alright, but, you know, as long... Like, we just got to be able to defeat Malekith. That's... If we can do that, then we'll be... Be sitting pretty good, and then I'll probably probably take Har Kaladra and just limit him down to just Nagarond. Maybe try to take this territory back, surround him again. Because if I can make him waste time on provinces that don't really matter, like tier one and two fucking places that don't have anything, then you know hey, that's that's good for me. That's value trading, baby. But all right, we'll just have to see how it goes. We're gonna have to be fucking waiting up here for a while, anyways. You know, that's just how it goes. One more turn, don't instantly attack Malkith. Give me another turn, then I can actually show back up. Oh, but then we have to fight them in the field. Oh, uh, oh, wow. Auto resolve likes my chances. It will literally kill everything, though. Um, but for a victory? Shit, bro, I'll take it. God, give us 5,000 instantly. I was hoping that would destroy his army outright. Auto resolve usually does that, but that's okay because next turn we can just move in, and then he'll have to retreat, unless I can catch him out. But I don't know if he'll be willing to take that fight, since he'll be all wounded up. The garrison will replenish in time, so it's fine. They're kind of like free troops, is how I see it. If they die, so what? Who cares? Don't have to re-recruit them. Yeah, please go south. Bastard's gone, guys. Alright. Oh, there he is. That's that's where he's at. Fucking goddamn greenskins. Yeah, I'd probably upgrade that. I don't I don't want anything coming coming that way. Go ahead and upgrade Eldar Spider Spire as well. Spider. What the fuck? <laughs> right, yeah, go ahead and upgrade that. Make that uh, a higher settlement. We need the money. Our economy is kind of tanking. Which is to be expected. We don't have all that many, many territories. And not a whole lot of them are focused on making money. We're doing okay with all that. Um, yeah, growth. We're going to keep that going. Eventually, I will have to push on these ogre kingdoms. Because I want this territory. But all in good time. Vashnar, I, I hope you move south. I mean, look at this fucking army. Full of fucking Chosen. Fucking Cold One Dread Knights. Chaos Knights. The Black Dragon. Okay, Reaper Claw Bolt Throwers suck. But, I mean, dude, this is a fucking Doom Stack and a half. Like, <laughs> I don't even think our army could deal with that. If I'm being 100% honest with you. 
Now I might have to go and fucking kill Mash One Finger. Where'd Mouth get to go? Probably March stands down to Temple of Cain. And now I'm in a, now I'm in a tough spot. I want to catch out Malekith and kill his army. That would be really huge for me. Because he didn't lose a whole lot of units. Most of them are just wounded. So, like, I have to strike pretty much immediately before he can get a turn of replenishment off. Also, I don't want to leave my, my territory vulnerable. Okay, he marched north anyway, so then never mind. We're good. Okay, good. Bashnor moves south. So, uh, my decision was made for me. Malekith, alright. He, he merged all his units, which is actually good for me. He got rid of about three, three troops. Well, this is just gonna have to be it. <laughs> you know, this is the battle. It's gonna be it's gonna be a close one. I, I do like the balance of powers in our favor. Why are you onto like them? Or unless I want to throw you onto like them, so you could have like equivalent damage, maybe. Like what? Because with that, you have to fifty-five with armor with AP. It's not bad. Okay. Well. Uh, the, here we go, boys. It's the fucking rematch of a century. Malekith with his small but elite army. Ah, oh, do they have another black guard in the garrison? Alright, but they... They are low in numbers, so... Hopefully, uh, Dawi... Um, stubbornness and determination can overcome Malekith and his dark forces. Alright, and bam, here we are. Facing the Druchi on the field of battle. And what an interesting little map here. It's actually kind of good. Look at this terrain. Holy shit. Valaya has blessed us this day. Hell yeah. Fuck. Okay. So we got a river to our left that's cut off by our cliff face and then another mountain to our right. So basically we get a nice boxed in formation which is exactly what we're looking for. Group 5 and, and Group 6. Okay. Uh, he has artillery, right? I believe I remember. He's a blight, or a Reaper. Yeah, the, those crows of Cain will... Okay. Um, alright. So, yeah, Warriors Dragonfire Pass. I actually want you in the center. Because we can easily reinforce the center. So, so it's okay if we have a bit of a weaker force there. So he does have Dark Conduit. We gotta remember that. I'm gonna forget that. I, I, I promise you. Like, five seconds into the battle and be like, oh, shit. Wait, what's he doing there? Oh, yeah, start conduit, and then half my forces are going to die. There's not much we can really do about it. Just if I do see it, then we'll try to try to avoid it. But, you know, there's only so much you can do. Yeah, is there a... Is there kind of a, a good place we can put these thunders? Maybe like this? And we kind of have a good view, like down there. Okay, I actually want you guys to kind of be back. Do something a little bit like this. We kind of funnel them right into these uh, these iron drakes. Actually, push them back so they kind of have to push past our lines a little bit. So it'll be harder for them to reposition. Hammers are definitely going to take center. Long beards. All right, you guys kind of just support. I got to get rid of these these crows of canes first before you can do anything. But then actually, if you just like stick above the blood rack Medusa, they'll be able to do some pretty good shit. Or just like on the Argonath Executioners. Actually, yeah, we're gonna have you harry the uh, Argonath. Okay. Oh boy, here we go, boys. Here we go. The battle. It's gonna be underway, but actually first let's just go ahead and take a take a look at our beautiful boys, long beards. Of outlines, staunch troops. Alright, it's gonna hopefully have to be enough. Start battle. Alright, you guys instantly just onto those black guard. You go for those Argoneth executioners. Maybe try to push you guys up a little bit. Yeah. 
Yes. Right down the flank as well. That's good. That's where you want to be shooting them from. Uh, Doom Fire Warlocks, I'm not really all that worried about. Is that a Doom Bolt? It's whatever. I actually pull you guys back here. Oh, yep. The Thunderer is gonna gonna see those guys off. All right. Pull you guys off. I don't want you getting picked off by Dark Shards. Uh, but you know, you can do a little bit of harrying fire as you run away. Ice Wind. Oh, yep. Those Doom Fire Warlocks just dead. Straight up eviscerated. That's what you like to see. Uh, get you guys out of here. Harpies, gonna they're gonna try to dive in somewhere. They're trying to overwhelm our right flank. Let's send Gromby over there. Rune of Oath and Steel. Okay, Blackguard, they're coming into range. Let's get rid of them, boys. Yeah, Rushler, just keep on firing into them. Don't forget, we have extra ammunition. All right, we're going to go ahead and upgrade these guys. Or not not really upgrade them. That's not the, the proper turn. Runesmith, stick in here. Uh, Gromby, get on top of them. Uh, oh. Oh, Death Hag. Actually, Death Hag. Death Hag needs to go. Yeah, those Argonath Executioners are going to tear them apart. Fire into those Dread Spears. No, fire into those Black Guards. All right, you guys kind of can't fire into them all that well. All right, commit you guys in. Uh, let's see. Actually, if I pull you guys over here, pull these hammers kind of out, uh, reinforce you guys over to there, probably pull you guys back. Thunder, is you guys doing okay? Yeah, it seems like they're firing in. Yeah, they got a really nice angle. Yep. The AP missiles. Okay. A Rune of Wrath and Ruin. Where do we want to put that? I think like right into here. That'll do some, do some good work. Oh, the shades are in range. Uh, actually, probably murder them. All right, Iron Drakes, you got a really nice, you got a really nice view here. Oh yes, burn them! Yes, let's go. Um, try to get you guys like focused on that Bloodrack Medusa. All right, now I'll finally get you in there. Uh, you just fire in with your rifle as well. Iron Drake's kind of push up a little bit. Pop sort of anti-heroes. Uh, how are the shades doing? Okay, good. Shades are kind of getting decimated. Uh, we don't care about bleak swords. Get rid of those dark shards now. We got 40 seconds until our next thing can come online. Oh man, Gromby is getting messed up here, man. Don't really want to throw in more more meat to the meat grinder here. Oh, that that oh the fire coming down the flank. Oh, oh that's brutal. Dwarven engineer, take my frames. <laughs> Oh, but that's, that's gorgeous. Oh, we love to see that. Still got some black guard in there, though. Okay, we can get, like, a, a surround off here. Yep, and those black guards starting to falter. Okay, we can pop down Aruna's speed and really just kind of buff up everyone's uh, everyone's uh, melee prowess here. All right, fall back, boys. Oh, good. Army loss is kicking in. Now we're getting into it. What the fuck are you guys doing? Yeah, there we go. And just like that, the Druchi forces are forced back. Beautiful. All right, you love to see it. Malkith and his hordes are defeated, and with that, the Dawi tide.
it continue onwards. And bam, there we go. Malekith and his forces are defeated. Hell yeah. Uh, certainly cost us some. Cost us a fair bit in order to throw him back. But he is safe. dead. And that, that's huge. That's really good for us. I don't think a secondary army will be as powerful. We don't care about that. Honestly, I don't care about this province all that much, just in general. <laughs> okay, um... So special, so door. okay. Uh, extra stuff. When moving... Bigger loss reduction is pretty good. Oh, I, getting extra uses of Grombandal has no fear. That's pretty good. Or as the engineers as well, though. Iron Drakes and War Machines. I mean, the wound recovery time is also nice in case we ever do lose. Uh, but, yeah, I think we'll go with that. Uh, we'll, we'll hit up those two. I think that'll be good. All right, we did lose a long beard unit though, so that's a bit unfortunate. But hey, I mean, what can you do? Sacrifices have to be made, and luckily it was only one. You know who I am. Let's see how long. Yeah, four turns. I mean, it'll take about that long to get back there anyway. Oh.